Yo, what's going on guys, it's Shoot and Run here, and today we're doing uh, Dust 514, another gun guide, and today it's going to be the Assault Rifles, and it's going to be Tier 1 Assault Rifles. So here, um, I'm using the standard Militia Assault Rifle, and I'm just kind of displaying how fast it shoots off in the uh, recoil it has. So I'm just holding down the R1 button, uh, and I'm not even using the, the aiming button. So I'm just letting the gun kind of rise by itself and show you what kind of recoil and how much recoil it has. So something odd about it is that when you're aiming down sight, uh, there's little to no recoil. And then during like the last, uh, I'd say, 15 bullets in the clip, um, there's drastic recoil. And the gun just likes to hop up really fast. Um, and then hip fire is the same thing, but it seems that the recoil is more incremental. And it's a lot more severe and it hops up. So, but the recoil on hip fire is still really good. Um... A good thing about this gun is that it's a starter gun, so you have uh, unlimited amounts of this gun. You don't have to worry about dying and losing this loadout because it's uh, it comes preloaded with the class. So that's a nice thing about this gun. Another nice thing about this gun is that it takes down shield and health very quick. With the amount of ammo you have, you get 48 uh, rounds per mag. And I'm not sure how much overall ammunition you get. Probably like around 400, maybe a little more. Um, so with that you get a lot of extra ammunition to take down an enemy and it generally takes about 20 25 bullets to take down one enemy if you get him with uh, you know if you're fighting him with uh, pretty decent accuracy it'll take at least half the clip so that's not bad you could take down about two people with one clip maybe three if you're lucky but that most likely won't happen especially in dust when you could uh, die so easily um, but this gun is really good because it's a very uh, versatile it's it's a fast killer. It's got good range. It's got, um, it's really good at close range and medium range. And then long range, it's pretty good if you uh, have a steady hand and you keep the aimer uh, on the enemy. As you see here, I'm, I took down this guy's shield and health very quickly from a pretty far distance, and he was uh, barely able to get me. Um, and that's because I use this kind of tech tactic I have with this gun, which is crouching, and it kind of catches the enemy. Uh, kind of catch the enemy off guard and it uh they have to adjust their aimer lower so we're just kind of running away from the sniper because he's sniping us out while we were trying to get that guy that was shooting at his uh teammate's dead body so that was kind of weird so we're just kind of sitting here uh trying to avoid the sniper and we try to go for cover and he just snipes us in the head so you know that was uh something to be careful about okay so now we're going to be moving on to the uh semi-automatic tactical assault rifle and as you see here, it comes with 24 rounds and 276 uh, extra ammunition. And it's a semi-automatic, so you can shoot this off as fast as your trigger finger will let you. Um, the recoil on this gun is actually really low uh, when you're shooting from the hip. But when you're aiming down sight, it's surprisingly greater uh, when you're aiming down sight. So that's kind of odd. It's got the same texture as the burst rifle, which is really strange. I don't know why they uh, didn't retexture them. I don't know. But this gun is really effective at long range, and medium range is pretty good. Close range, it's a burst rifle, so it's not that effective. But if you could get that uh, high rate of fire with your trigger finger, then it could be a really solid gun. The other good thing about it is that it, um, even though it's only 24 rounds, it seems like a lot for a semi-automatic. Because it could take down an enemy very quickly if you uh, hit all your shots into the enemy. So that's... This, that's what uh really good about this gun. Um, the best thing about this gun probably is that you could shoot it as fast as you want and it's got a really, uh, really good range. So people with assault rifles will be trying to shoot at you but they can't get you from that range. So they're going to have to be charging up at you or trying to find cover while you could still shoot them and chase them down and shoot them from a long range because you have this semi-automatic. You see we could hit this guy all the way from back here. Um, and that's that sniper that killed us that first time. We're just going to see if we get some revenge, but uh, we can't. He's too far away. I mean, we could hit him from this distance, but he's too far away for us to actually be able to actually do any damage. So that was the, uh, the tactical uh, assault rifle, and now we're going to be moving over to the breech gun. So the breech gun is um, it's got the same texture as the militia assault rifle. It comes with... 34 rounds I believe and uh, 284 extra rounds it's got a low rate of fire but the damage output on this gun is incredibly high um, it's got it's got 
pretty moderate recoil and um it the reload speed is pretty uh decent for this gun but as you see here um uh it's really easy to get kills with this gun it's really powerful uh, the only bad thing about this gun is that the range isn't as high as you would like this gun to be. So it's more of a medium ranged gun. Close range it can't do uh, that much. Like you most likely won't win a gunfight if you're at close range. But if you're at medium to close and medium to uh, long range then you could get some pretty decent kills. Because the, uh, this gun has such a high uh, damage output that it'll be able to take out the enemy. Um, if they're using that uh, standard militia assault rifle or a burst rifle or any other type of uh, rifle You'll most likely be able to take them out and as you saw there the accuracy is incredibly high on this gun I'm able to pick off a couple of these guys just kind of sitting behind here um, With ease don't even have to worry about the recoil So that's it's a really nice gun really powerful. It's got a decent amount and it's actually got 36 instead of 34 my bad guys um, but yeah, as you see here, um, there's a pretty high uh, range cap, but that's probably because I was just using the uh, tactical rifle, assault rifle, so um, I wasn't really used to the range. But yeah, so I mean, I, I'm able to get my crosses on them perfectly, and I'm just trying to see if I can get them, but I can't get them from this far. So I try to move up, and I slowly, slowly try to move up, and I still can't get them. So, I mean, it's kind of a bummer with this gun because it's really powerful, but the range on it uh, isn't really that great. So, I would recommend uh, getting the assault rifle. I believe it's, um, I, I can't recall what it's called, but it's a skill that you can get for the assault rifles that increases the range for uh, all assault rifles in the category. It increases the damage, the bullet uh, range that it can fire. Um... So it increases that by 5%, and it's pretty effective if you're using guns like this because these guns don't really have that high of range, and um, it's really nice to have uh, range, especially on guns like these, on guns like this. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of trying to, we're just running around trying to find someone, see if we could, uh, you know, kill some guys really easily because this is a, this is a nice medium ranged map, so it's perfect for this gun. It's really uh, easy to get kills. But as you saw there, we have uh, this guy, and then we have that massive tank behind us. He takes down our health to four life points, and yeah, so we have to pull out that pistol, and we just kill him, guys. We just got that kill. I mean, I was I was surprised we actually got that kill with our health being so low. So yeah, that was pretty uh pretty awesome. So now we're gonna be moving on to the uh, burst rifle. Burst rifle, I. Uh, it's got 60 rounds, so it's a lot of ammo for a gun like this, and the rate of fire on this gun is incredibly high. It it looks like it's automatic, but I believe it shoots about 5, maybe 4 bursts. It might even be more, I'm not sure. Um, but it shoots a lot. It comes with a lot of extra ammunition. I'm not sure exactly how much, because I just shot away all that uh, ammo. But yeah, this gun is really has a lot of ammo, and the rate of fire for a burst gun is incredibly high. It's got the same scope, as I said, for the uh, tactical assault rifle. It's got the same texture. So yeah, uh, what I but I really do not like this gun. This gun is the damage on this gun really isn't that great. As you see here, I'm like unloading on these guys trying to get a kill. I unloaded half my mag into one guy, and uh, I like took down his health and maybe half, or I took down his shield and half his health, I like barely was able to kill him, and that guy on the thing, and on the vehicle, I just was able to kill him because I think I got a couple headshots in him, and he was already being damaged by my teammates, and you know, this gun has a burst fire with the scope, you'd think it'd be, uh, it'd be optimized for medium to long range maps, but really, this gun doesn't do a lot of damage at long range and close range, as I'm demonstrating here, I barely even took, I took down the guy's shield and half his health, even though I was spamming. I was hitting that R1 button as fast as I can, trying to get all those bursts out. And yet, and I started shooting first, so I don't know, this, this gun really isn't that great. I die so many times from this gun, and I die, I actually die from the same guy when I respawn here. Um, I'll be, I'll just kind of go into this corner and there'll be all the enemies across and I'm shooting this guy and of course I can't get him because he just runs behind the cover um, and so here I'm just trying to see if I could get some guys out I see that guy that uh, <coughs> I see that guy that was shooting at me before 
He turns around, he was able to take me out. And how long was I shooting at him? I was unloading so many bullets into him, and yet he was able to just turn around and spray me down. So, I mean, this gun I really do not like. I If I could suggest a gun for you guys to pick, I would either suggest the Militia Assault Rifle because it's unlimited, it's got... Uh, you don't have to worry about spending your ISK on it, and it's a really good loadout. It takes down their health and uh, shields fairly quickly. So, that's a gun I would recommend for for sure. Another gun I would recommend would be the Breach Rifle. Although the rate of fire is low, the damage is incredibly high, and it just takes time to get used to it. So, basically, I would recommend all the weapons in the category, the Breach Rifle, the... Militia Assault Rifle and the Tactical Rifle, all because they have um, they have good damage, they take down shields quickly, uh, good ammo, and some of them have a good uh, rate of fire, uh, but the Burst Rifle just doesn't do it for me, it doesn't have that damage that I would like, and the rate of fire is high, and there's a lot of bullets, but it doesn't make up for the low and weak damage on the gun. So guys, that was my gun review on the Assault Rifles Tier 1 and 2. Um, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe uh, so you never miss another Dust514 video, and peace out, guys.